Hi guys, so I'm Chloe Adler and I'm a paranormal romance author who just uh, released my first um, reverse harem book and for those of you who don't know what a reverse harem is, it's uh, one woman and seems to be three to seven men. So my first book has uh, is based on the youngest witch sister in the family, the Holt family. And I have another series titled Love on the Edge. And that takes, um, that follows the middle witch sisters, the first book, and then her oldest sister, and then her two roommates, and then, uh, then the series ends. And this new series is the youngest witch sister and her reverse harem. So I just want to thank you guys for reading the book and all my other books and it's, it's, it means a lot. It means a lot. Your reviews mean a lot and um, your feedback is really important to me and I just want to, I just want to give back. I just want to take the time to inspire other people and to take us away from whatever's going on in our lives. That's what books do for me and that's what authors do for me and that's what I'm hoping to do for you. So I wanted to take a minute to say that and then I also wanted to go back to what I've been talking about on several other live videos and my newsletter which is I'm trying to find ways to celebrate. So I've mentioned this before, I'm a workaholic and uh, usually when something happens, something major happens, I just put my head down and keep working and I go on to the next thing. So what I am trying to do is just take a moment and, and really celebrate. And I realize I'm really washed out um, in this video, but okay. So that's what I'm working on now is what I can do to take that time and breathe, breathe into it, acknowledge it, experience it, So I came up with my way of celebrating yesterday, which was um, the book launch. And so what I did was I, I actually had to work at my day job and I worked, uh, I worked a 12 hour day. I worked 10 hours at my actual shift, um, on my shift, what I, what I do. <clears throat> and I, and I, and, and my job is giving, is giving, giving back, giving to others. So um, it's really, it's great, it's rewarding, I love it, but it's hard and I have to be on all the time, the whole time I'm there and I have to be, uh, I can't think about myself, it's just, it's all about helping other people. So, and I don't take a break and I am my own boss, I don't work for anybody else, so I, uh, hi, so I, so I, I get to do that, I get to take the time and, um, and and do whatever I need to do. So, so during my day job, I basically just go and just try to get it done in as little time as possible. So I spent 10 hours, um, which I do two days a week without any breaks. So I was wondering what am I going to do to celebrate because I had a, a great book launch yesterday and I wasn't sure. And so what I came up with was to eat some of my favorite food, um, which was an artichoke and tomato basil soup. And I am a health food fanatic. I'm a little bit over the top, a little bit crazy about it. And I admit that and I have no problem admitting that and I'm proud of it and I don't care. I don't care, that's just who I am. So, and I'm not telling other people they have to be that way, but you probably should. So I did that. That's how I celebrated. Um, I came home and had uh, an artichoke and tomato basil soup. And right now I'm making my favorite thing. It's my big indulgence and it's really unhealthy. And it's potato salad. So I wanted to show you guys. I haven't finished mixing it, but uh, I wanted to show you guys my amazing potato salad because I'm known for my potato salad. It's really good. And then the trick to the potato salad is truffle oil. So if you want to make the best potato salad 
add truffle oil. Now, if you don't like truffles, obviously you don't want to add truffle oil, but that's what makes potato salad. So, and you don't have to use this brand. Thank you. <laughs> um, you don't have to make this brand, but um, it's really good. Hi, Cora. And, uh, and I hope to meet you soon uh, in person. So Cora, who's just joined, is my amazing cover designer. And uh, she, yeah, all you have to do is look at the books to know how, how amazing she is. She's, thank you. You're you're a big part of everything and um so okay really quick so i don't keep you guys on forever um so yeah so tonight i'm going to celebrate by opening martinelli's uh sparkling cider because i don't drink alcohol uh and trying to figure out ways to do it what am i going to do so that's what i'm going to do tonight drink a bottle of martinelli's not all by myself that would be crazy it's a lot of sugar hi cora thank you um but you know, just just to kind of take that moment and 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 feel into it, you know, um, and then you know go to a play or a movie or just something fun this weekend that can celebrate the launch. And then I just wanted to show you guys, and Cora is the one who's watching, and she's already seen this. So this is uh, this is the fourth book in the uh, in the first series, Love on the Edge. And I just wanted to mention it to the uh, Reverse Harem readers because it is a true menage and uh, with a happily ever after, and um, what somebody else in the uh, Reverse Harem group titled as multiple mayhem. So um, thank you for coming up with that term, but that's what this book is. And you don't have to read all the books in the series. There are no cliffhangers. Everybody has uh, their own happily ever after, but Burgundy, who's the vampire dominatrix stripper, um, this is her book and it's, it's a special book. It's, <laughs> I won't go into it. It's a really special book in a lot of, uh, in a lot of ways. Um, it was really hard for me to write. But there you go. So I just wanted to say thank you for um, for supporting me and thank you guys for watching. And I know um, this might be some replays instead of uh, instead of people being here. But Cora, thank you for being here. I can't wait to meet you in person. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get as close to your town as possible when I visit and uh, not have you drive for, you know, two and a half hours if you don't have to. So... Let's talk about that and <laughs> we should Skype about the new book cover because I know we're having some issues there. So thank you guys and I would love to hear how you celebrate. What do you do to celebrate? And you know, if you are, if you drink alcohol, I don't care, tell me, I don't care. Whatever, whatever you guys do, you know, potato salad, um, I don't know, I can't think of any other ways to celebrate. So I would love to hear from everybody and thank you for watching and yeah, I hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks.